Let's look at some basic navigations of the SAP menu. Once you log in, this will probably be the first screen you will see in SAP. On your left hand side, you can see the SAP menu. You also have a favorites folder where you can add your favorite transactions later. Now let's navigate through the SAP menu. As you can see, there are many folders over here starting from office applications all the way to custom programs. Now the one you'll frequently use is the accounting folder. Now you can see they have divided logistics, accounting and human resources. These are the three main uh, functional modules are divided into these three categories. The FI, CEO, PS modules are all in accounting. Modules like MM, SD related to logistics are inside the logistics folder. So you just have to click on this small arrow and the accounting folder opens up. Now here you can see all the functional modules related to accounting are categorized by folders. So if you want to go inside the financial accounting module, you just got to click here again and the financial accounting sub modules are also displayed. Now let's try to execute a transaction. For example, we'll go inside the general ledger module. We'll try to create a master record and it's a GL account. We'll create one at a time, so it'll be individual processing. And you got the options here to create centrally or to create a chart of accounts level, to create at company code level. And you can see on the left hand side, the transaction codes are also displayed over here. Now, for example, if you want to create a GL account in chart of accounts level, the transaction code is FSP0. That is displayed over here. So all you have to do is double click that and it'll take you to the create GL account at chart of account level screen. Now to go back, you can click on this back arrow or also click on F3 on your keyboard. And you're back to the same screen again. To add this into your favorites folder, just right click and click on the option add to favorites and it's already there in your favorites. Likewise, you can all add your favorite transaction codes inside the favorites folder. Now, you don't have to go through all the menu path to add something on your favorites folder. For example, if you want to add the transition code FSS0 into your favorites folder, just right click on the favorites folder, click on insert transaction and type in FSS0 and this automatically will be added. And you can always fold back your transactions. You also have the option to add your the whole folder inside favorites as well. Like example, inside your favorites folder, you can create your own subfolder and call it as example like GL transactions. And then you can move your favorite transactions inside that folder. So this is just a way of organizing your favorites folder and navigating through your SAP menu. Usually in the SAP menu, for each module, probably one of the last few folders is your information systems folder and reporting folder. This way you can get all your reports. And to minimize the folder, you can always go back and click the main folders drop collapse field and everything collapses and it's back to your normal SAP layout. Let's look at some of the navigations of the icons in the top bar of the SAP menu. For example, you can see there's a drop box over here. If you drop, if you click on this icon, you can see all the previous transaction codes you have typed in. So this gives you the option to directly type in a transaction code rather than going through the folders menu. For example, I'm going to type in the transaction code FB50 for journal entries and it'll take me to the screen. Now you can see the top menu. This is a save icon or it can be also be post. Anything you want to post a document or save a document this is the icon you need to click once you have completed all the entries. 
as you saw earlier the green arrow is the back button you also have the shortcut key on your keyboard to press F3 and go back for example if I click on this now because this entry requires all this information it will not allow you to go back without entering so the document date for example it's asking you can you see on the message screen enter valid date so let's say you want to exit this transaction without entering anything then you can click on the cancel button and you get a pop-up menu saying data will be lost do you want to exit editing and click on yes and it cancels this whole screen this button the exit button allows you to go out from the screen you get the pop-up menu again click on yes and it takes you back to the main screen now you can see there are some more other icons over here this is if you have a long report if you click on you can always go down the report to the next page and to the last page and this icon is for the first page the double icons is for the first page and the double icons are for the last pages and the up icon and down icon for the previous page and the next page now let's say you're already in one screen and you need to open another screen we call it a session in SAP sometimes you can have up to eight sessions or six sessions open at the same time that depends on your basis administrator settings so if you want to open a new session just click on that icon and a new session opens so this allows you to do two transactions at the same time now I'm going to type in another transaction over here now you can see that I have opened the edit GL account screen and I have also opened the, the journal entry screen. Now to close this transaction, I can either click on the back button or the exit button. So I'm just going to click on the exit button. From an existing session, you can also open another session by typing in the forward slash and n this will allow you to exit this session and let's say you want to open another session you can directly type in the transaction code over here and if you put slash in it means to exit the screen and open another session with the relevant transaction code so if you put slash in fsp0 it will take you to the fsp0 transaction code and that opens up over here now if you want to keep this screen and open another session then you got to put slash O and then you can type in the transaction code which you want to open so slash N means to exit the session and open another session slash O means to keep the session and open another session and that opens up another session and if you want to exit all these sessions, you can always click on this yellow button and it just takes you back to the main screen. And of course you got these icons if you want to find a text over here, you can find some find one line uh, particular characters or numbers or any text you can type in this. And if you find more of it, you can always click on find next, next, next button. This to directly take you to print out of the screen. Now there are some options, for example, you have come to a transaction code and if you see these technical names, that is the transaction code names are not displayed, take you to that option, it's extras, settings, okay. Now if you see, I'm just taking it for an example, the transaction you can see the technical name or the transaction code is not displayed over here and if you want to display it go to extras settings and click on display technical names and then when you come back again you will find the technical names will be displayed so always easier just to keep those technical names on because then you'll get more familiarized with the transaction code That's basically the main SAP navigation through the SAP menu folders and we also got familiar with some of the icons.
Now let's look at the IMG, that's the SAP's configuration menu. So to go to the configuration menu, you got to type in SPRO. It can be in simple letters or capital letters. You got to type in SPRO and then click on enter and that will bring you to this screen. Then you got to click on this SAP reference IMG menu or this button. You can also directly click on F5 on your keyboard. So once you click that, that will bring you to the SMG IMG configuration menu. So this is a bit different from the transaction menu. You can see the colors, the background and the icons are also a bit different. And from here you can navigate your way to doing the configuration. Now to display the transaction codes or the short technical names, you got to click on additional information, additional information again, display key and attributes. Then if you expand the screen, now on this right hand column you will get the short transaction code. For example, if you want to create a company code, You'll be going to the enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, edit, copy, delete, check, company code. Now you can see on this transaction code, at the end, the last four characters usually represent the short transaction code which means you can directly type OX02 and come to the same screen as directly by clicking on that execute icon. Then from here you can click on edit company code or copy company code and proceed with your transaction. So you can see the icons are also a bit different. Here you got the execute icon whereas in the transaction path you had a different square icon. And to close out the screen, you can click on this and it will collapse the screen. Now if you have a transaction code at the end like this, this means you cannot directly use a short transaction code. You got to come through the IMG menu path. That means from the main SAP screen, you got to type in SPRO, come to the IMG menu path, come all the way down and um, execute this transaction. But usually if it starts with a four character code at the end like this, that means you can directly key in the transaction code and come to the screen. For example, you saw in company code it's OX02. To define a business area is OX03. So to, design, to define a consolidation business area is OCC1 and so on. Now I'll show an example by directly typing this transaction code and coming to the same screen. So to have a new session, we click on new create new session. And we type in OX02. and that it brings to the create company code screen. So this is your configuration screen and you have a new session and this is your transaction screen.